Hey everybody, welcome to what is going to be a very chaotic what's in my hospital bag because there is currently no bag. It is just all spread out <laughs> on the bed. I'm gonna go through everything that we have so far. There's still a few of the bits that we need to get or pack and stuff, but you know, it, it'll, it'll be sorted, it'll be fine. It's all gonna be fine by the time we actually need the hospital bag, but this is <laughs> what we have, this is the plan. Dan made a list. Dan is very much taken on the responsibility of being the hospital bag man. We definitely had a moment when he was like writing out the list and I was giving my input, but also I was like, this is not how I would make the list. <laughs> but it's all fine because he ultimately has to be the person who like knows what's in the bags and knows where everything is because I'm gonna be busy. So I've got four piles. We've got the labor pile, we've got the postpartum pile, we've got the baby pile, and then like the down pile, which is the smallest pile. <laughs> So let's just crack on. Honestly, my attitude to this swings sometimes really far. The like, hey, there's no such thing as overpacking. It doesn't matter to all the way the other end. Like, hey, if we forget something also doesn't matter. And especially for like after baby's born, Dan can always come home and grab anything that we need. Right, labor pile. Cause this is gonna be like ultimately the first thing that is happening. Let's just dive in. First thing I'm seeing here is like everything that's in the entertainment category because you know, you could be in and out real quick or you could be in there for a schlog, like a real long time. So I've got this little mini speaker. It was gifted from YouTube. So it has like a little YouTube um, <laughs> logo on it, but hey, that could come in handy. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, if I wanna play some music, have I got a playlist made? Do I intend to make a playlist? No, I'm probably just going to find other people's on Spotify and use those. If it was up to Dan, if it was Dan who was giving birth, it would just be like metal <laughs> music, but I'm vetoing that. We've got the switch. <laughs> I have no idea if we'll actually play this, but I was just like, why don't we bring the switch? Who knows? I've got my noise canceling headphones. They're actually not currently in here. They're on Mia's head, um, but that'll be handy if I want to try and like zone out. Got the iPad gonna download a bunch of stuff to watch on it as well. I'm basically just like packing for a really long plane ride <laughs> is what this seems like currently. And then also two packs of Flux, the Adventure Time Flux and Star Flux. This is a game that Dan and I like to play a lot. It's very quick and easy, but also fun. And you have to use your brain a lot. I don't know, we'll see. We've got options. Okay, and then also, in the labor bag, we've got da da da, the vlog camera. We'll see again. So much of this is like, we'll see what happens, but I'm definitely intending on packing this. And also what you don't see here, but will absolutely <laughs> be packed in all of the bags is like spare batteries, chargers for all of our devices and everything like that. That is all on the list. The plan is to like, once the main hospital bag is packed, then have like this separate list, which is everything that we then need last minute when it's like, okay, now we're going to the hospital because it's stuff that we actually use day to day. So we don't want to pack in advance. Um, so that's like this and chargers and phones and things like that, fun times. I've got two fans. Got <laughs> one of these, which is great for a bit of handheld action. And then this actually I bought for my studio, which came in a lot of use last summer because it got quite hot in there. Um, but it's just a little desk fan. I hear that labor can get real hot. And also any time that I've spent overnight in a hospital as well, it is hot and sweaty in there. So having a fan, very handy. What else have we got? We've got some hair bands because as you can see, I now have short hair. And whilst this is gonna be very convenient for parenting, uh, hopefully, it's not necessarily gonna be so great for labor because it's too short to like tie up out of my head. So it could still like get in the way. So that I got some headbands just to like hold it all back. So we're not worrying about that. Got an eye mask to try and get some peace and quiet if there's like lights and stuff that I wanna drown out. Some flannels so Dan can get these in some cold water and like dab me. I hear that's a handy thing. This has been 
lying around for ages, but I also hear that like having some kind of like water spray thing can be really nice. Slippers. Again, this is gonna be like one of the last minute things that gets packed because I wear these every day, but slippers are going in the bag. I'm also gonna bring one of my like stoma belly support belts because ideally I would like an active labor where I'm like moving around and stuff, but the belly just might be too heavy or I might want it to be free and breathing, who knows, but I'm just gonna pack one of my support belts anyway to have if I just feel like I need to like be given a belly lift. I actually don't know if I'm gonna bring this, but maybe my pregnancy pillow. Definitely gonna bring at least one regular pillow, but also maybe, maybe this thing as well. We'll see, this is getting ridiculous, the amount of stuff. Also gonna bring a bottle of water with a straw. It's what I've heard, it's handy, so you're not having to like tip your head back if you're in certain positions and you need to like take a sip of water. So this is coming with. And then my labor outfit. <laughs> Honestly, will I just be naked or in a hospital gown? Like, I don't know. Definitely intend on being naked if I get into a pool, but we'll see. So I bought this for a couple of quid off of Vinted, which is kind of like a secondhand online place, kind of like Depop. And it's a nursing nighty, so got access all areas for labor. Boop, boop, boop. Um, but then also it has these buttons so you can have your boobies free for nursing as well. The other thing I've got is obviously like my maternity notes. The thing that I don't currently have is a birth plan. <laughs> By the time you're seeing this though, that will all be sorted. We will have a plan or preferences. I'm gonna print out a few copies of that to give to the various people that we encounter. <laughs> Moving on <laughs> to behind me is my postpartum collection. I also got <laughs> three more nighties <laughs> on Vinted for like a couple of quid. Not exactly my style, but whatever. They're just nursing nighties. So they've got like, these buttons so you can get your boobs out. And I honestly like thinking about what I would be wearing in the hospital after birth or like what I would be going home in is just like stuff that I do not care to be thinking about. And so I just was like, let's just get some big old nighties to sleep in that have access to the boobs. And then also like I could use any of these for labor or postpartum, it doesn't really matter. May even like go home in one of these, my going home outfit, <laughs> if you will. Speaking of going home clothes, I have packed some options. No, one option. Basically, if I don't want to wear one of the nighties, I just have this. I wanted to go with like dark things, especially on the bottom half. So I've got a pair of like maternity, <laughs> black leggings because who knows what's gonna be coming out of my vagina. I mean, I've got a good idea of what's gonna be coming out of my vagina, but how much of it? Oh wait, no, these are not, these are the wrong ones. These are not the maternity ones, I grabbed the wrong ones, but you get the picture. It will be the bigger ones that I actually pack. <laughs> I also have these leggings. So actually we're fine. We didn't need those anyway. Just got my black maternity leggings. Although I'm not gonna pack these straight away because I still very much live in these. I am gonna be getting a couple of nursing bras, but I haven't gone shopping for those yet, but they will also be in the hospital bag. But I wanna make sure I go and get fitted for them properly, like as close up to <laughs> my due date as possible without like risking it too much. So that's on the to-do list. But in the meantime, I have like, one of the bralettes that I've been wearing continuously throughout pregnancy, but really like I'll probably won't need to pack this because I'll probably be wearing it. <laughs> so who knows? And then just a bunch of black knickers. I haven't bought any like pregnancy maternity knickers. Um, I've just been like wearing the same old like high-waisted Marks and Spencers black underwear. And I feel like I've probably just stretched them out so much with my bump over the last few months that these knickers are dead to me anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I like get them ruined. Speaking of ruining your knickers, <laughs> got some maternity pads, also got some reusable breast pads. These are from my mum, thank you mum. I don't actually know if I'll like need these when I'm in hospital. I've honestly have no idea, but bringing them with just in case. Got some bed mats. I don't know if I'll take 
this entire pack with or if we'll just take like one or two to put on the car seat for like when we're driving to and then back from the hospital. I don't know, it says, protects mattresses when your waters break. But like, how do you know when your waters are gonna break? Like, are you just supposed to like sleep on one of these like every night? Like, that seems ridiculous. We did actually buy a mattress protector though. So we now have a mattress protector on this bed. So I'm like, eh, it's fine. We have the wash kit. In here is just basically like a travel <laughs> wash kit situation. We've got toothpaste, we've got deodorant, we've got shampoo, we've got toothbrushes, we've got some moisturizer, we've got some dry shampoo, lip balm, face wash, paracetamol, <laughs> all that good stuff. I'm also gonna bring my stoma bag cover. This is also gonna be another like last minute pack because my stoma bags can get like itchy and scratchy on my skin at night. So it's nice to have something to keep me comfy. Speaking of stoma bags, bum bum bum. I have packed my hospital stoma bag kit. I've got everything that I need for stoma bag changes in here, plus an assortment of bags. So I've got two each of the bags that I'm currently using, which is the salts and the Dansac <laughs> bags. And then I've got two <laughs> of my old bags that are convex. So we'll see, who knows? Also the labor ward and everything is connected to the same hospital where my IBD stuff is and where my stoma nurse is. So there's also every chance that the stoma nurse will be able to come visit me and like help measure my stoma and like figure out what kind of bags that I might need postpartum as my belly changes again. I haven't cut any of these because obviously I have no idea like what state my stoma is going to be in after birth. So these are all uncut and I've got a pair of scissors and measuring guides. And then the final thing I've got in my postpartum stuff is a towel, a nice fluffy towel. <laughs> Onto the not so cute stuff, <laughs> Dan's things. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Dan's got some stuff in the wash kit as well because like he can use any of that. So we're packing Dan his swim trunks in case he wants to get into the pool with me, but maybe he'll also want to be naked, who knows, up to him, whatever makes him comfortable. Got Dan a spare change of clothes, you know, if he stays overnight and gets sweaty. You never know, it's gonna be sweaty. And then also his pajamas and just some like comfy shorts so that, you know, he can he can get comfortable too, I guess. Um, and that's that's all of Dan's stuff, you know? What more does a man need? <laughs> now onto the cute baby stuff. So we've got some nappies. <laughs> These ones I think were just like gifted in one of the many birth labor baby packs that the hospital gives you. So this is just like three size one nappies. We also have another pack of disposable nappies so if we think we're gonna need more than three then we got them we've also got some baby wipes there we go we've got two muslins maybe we'll need more but like two's fine for now we've got two like full baby bodysuit situations most of this stuff is secondhand so i'm like <laughs> hoping that this all the right size, but whatever. Yeah, two little cute little baby bodysuit situations and then two vests. These ones are adorable. <laughs> They're so tiny. Oh my God, it's got little koalas all over it. And then the bodysuits have feet on them, but if they're in the vest, cause it might be really warm. We also have socks if they need little socks or a little hat if they need a hat. Honestly, what do babies need? Two bibs? Are they gonna need bibs? Bibs was on the NHS list, so we're packing bibs. And then we're also gonna pack the smallest of the many cardigans that Dan's granny um, has knitted for us. So this is the smallest one. Oh, maybe we should pack the smallest and the second smallest because we just don't know what size this baby's gonna be. It's so tiny and cute. So yeah, little cardigan if we need to layer them up. Then also this blanket that my Gran knitted for the baby. Look how on brand those colors are. Oh yeah. That's literally everything we're bringing for the baby. <laughs> and a car seat, obviously. I kind of just figure that if we need anything that we don't have after the baby is born, it will be very simple to acquire. And there we have it. That's what's in my hospital bag or will be in my hospital bag. Oh, other things that are not mentioned here because we don't have yet is like snacks and like energy drinks and all of that 
kind of stuff. So there'll definitely be like a food and drink shop coming up to get all of that packed as well. But yes, is there anything really important that I've forgotten? <laughs> <laughs> let me know. Thank you for watching. I feel like doing a what's in my hospital bag video is a rite of passage for anyone pregnant on YouTube. I've watched so many of these videos and I kind of became a bit obsessed. So if you are pregnant, but even if you're not pregnant, like I hope you enjoyed like nosying around all this stuff. And I've seen a few people also like a few months after they have given birth, like come back and be like, what did I actually use for my hospital bag videos? So let me know if you'd be keen to see that as well. But there we have it. Thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.